Bob! Well, howdy hey, this is Frackbox, and uh, I'm actually here just alone. Uh, don't usually do solo stuff, but I, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Uh, my brother hasn't really showed much interest in actually playing this, um, even though he does also like Pokemon. Uh, True Blue Blur is away. Uh, he went to Canada and got sick, uh, so he won't be joining me. Um, but uh, this is actually not what you're probably thinking it is. Um, well, I mean, if you saw the YouTube description, title, whatever, you probably saw what it actually is, but this isn't just a copy of Pokemon Crystal. Uh, it is Pokemon Crystal uh, in Italian, uh, as you'll see by the... Uh, oh, what does that spell out? I'm pretty sure that spells out something different in, in, in English. So here we go. Pokemon Version Cristallo. Cristallo, Cristallo, Cristallo. So, sorry, I don't actually speak Italian. Uh, I am learning Spanish. Um, I should say that I've learned Spanish in the past. I got to the point where uh, I was almost ready for full immersion. Basically, the next step in my Spanish ability was uh, basically moving somewhere that spoke primarily Spanish. Uh, but then life happened, didn't study Spanish for like years, you lose a lot of it. So now I've been going through Duolingo and just kind of relearning that again. So I'm on day like 140 as of the shooting of this video. So Italian and Spanish are kind of, you know, 80% similar as far as lex lex lexical similar similarity. Sorry, I can't speak. So it's, it'd be interesting to see how this goes. Worst case scenario, I have Google. So, uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, let's see here. So I think that's new game. Let me check this here. I think I went through this before and just made sure. Stamp, I think that's... Okay, let me just go to normal. I think that's like the text size or something. Um, that stereo battle style. Okay, that's probably fixed. And that's probably choose... Uh, let's see here. That's animation. This is velocity. Okay, so it, it, it kept my settings, so I actually like that one. So let's go ahead and go Novo Gyoko. Uh, I do not know how to pronounce... Oh, I guess I'm, uh, Bambino? Let's go Bambino. I, I didn't know that that was boy and girl in, in Italian, so... Um, well, maybe I should move this here so that... You guys don't see... Okay, sorry, I had to move it so that uh, you could actually read the text. Just in case there's anybody out there who actually speaks Italian. Or reads Italian, I suppose. So, uh, I know this is the part where he's, like, sleeping, but I have no idea what this is saying <laughs> whatsoever. Poi uh, Okay, so this is what... Oh, okay, so K. So in Spanish it's K instead of... I guess in Italian it's che is what, essentially. So what hour is it? Um, what... What time is it, actually? Now, now that I... It's like 7.40 or so. So, uh, that's okay. That's night. So, 7... Uh, 40... So, I'm on a Retron 5, so I'm not actually sure if it keeps track of the time, to be honest. Um, uh, oh, no. He overslept, I'm sure. So, he's just going to tell us about the wonderful world of Pokemon here. Ciao, scusa se... Se ti ho fatto attendere questo è il mondo dei Pokémon. Uh, welcome to the world of Pokémon. Mi chiamo Oak. Okay, so his name's Oak. Uh, ma per tutti sono prof professor Pokémon. Okay, questo mondo è abit abitato da creatori che chiamamo Pokémon. Okay. I Pokémon. <laughs> okay, so I must be like and, I think. Because uh, in Spanish it's Y, which is pronounced E. So Pokemon, uh, something I think they probably like uh, inhabit the world. I think that's what he's saying. Uh, also something about Pokemon or with Pokemon. I'm not sure. Uh, Poco sweet Pokemon, multi mystery. Something about the mystery of Pokemon await or something. I'm assuming. Okay, probably won't read too much into this, but I have to at least try to understand some of it so that I know <laughs> whether... Okay, Nuovo, that's a new name, so let me just uh, choose... What's a good... 
Italian name. Oh, I know. I know what to do. I know. Exactly. You can probably guess what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so we're gonna be the only real Itali Italian name that uh, that matters. Um, it's not the year of Luigi anymore, but that's okay. Fine. Finish Luigi. Hopefully there's nobody else in the game named Luigi. Um, but I figure this, this game, everybody kind of knows it well enough to where... I don't really know that I actually need to know <laughs> um, all of this. I might have to look up on, like, Bulbapedia or something. Okay, Asciende el Pis Pese. Uh, oh god, I have no idea what this is. Uh, right there. Okay, that's... Oh no. Uh, Butastrum? Okay, I know that there's a... Isn't there a... No. Isn't there supposed to be a, a potion? Oh god, I have no idea what potion is in Spanish or Italian, so... Oh, okay, Pokemon Talk Radio. No, 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 I don't want to listen. No, <laughs> can you... Can Okay, oh, can we? Can this stop, please? Okay. I was gonna say, like, po Professor Oak isn't even there, so... Okay, here's... Mama? Ah, Luigi. T. Servaca. Vicino. Okay, so going to Professor Elm. Uh, I think she talks about the Pokey Gear and how to, like... Okay, I received the Pokey Gear. Cool. So interesting that a lot of people um, learn English through using the Pokemon games, or at least it's their first introduction to English. Um, I know it's very common for people in, say, Europe. I know I've heard that a lot. Um, oh, okay, so, uh, oh, days of the week, okay, so it's Sunday right now, and I know that in Spanish, the Sabbath, or sa Sabado, is Saturday, so it's probably the same in Italian, and then Domingo is Sunday, so then Lun... Uh, there's actually a, a fun way that I remember the days of the week, and it's... I had to use this up until I started using Duolingo, I had to do this little mental, um, what's the word I'm looking for, like pneumatic... Mnemonic, mnemonic device, and it was like uh, uh, Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, vier, jueves, viernes, sábado. <laughs> That's how I had to remember the days of the week in Spanish. But we know that this is Sunday, so vero. Uh, oh, okay, interesting. So in Spanish, it's actually verdad is truth, uh, or when you want to confirm something. So, okay. So far, so good. Okay, here we go. I just want to... Oh, no. Did I just... Add... Okay, she's giving me the, the rundown on the Poke Gear. So... Okay, enough of that. Um, oh. I forgot that she had a friend in here. So, Pokemon Gold was actually my first Pokemon game. So, um, this is very nostalgic for me. Um, I played Pokemon Gold a whole bunch, and then I eventually got uh, uh, Pokemon Crystal. But I still have kind of a soft spot in, in my heart for Pokemon Gold. Uh, when the remakes of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver came out, oh, I I bought like three copies. So, um, oh man, okay, so we're gonna have to choose a Pokemon here. I didn't even think about what I was gonna choose. So, my very first playthrough, I chose Totodile. Because I think Totodile is just objectively the best. Oh, so... Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's going to be a problem, because I have no idea what I'm agreeing to half the time. Um, I know that he's asking me if I'll do Pokemon Adventures or something. Uh, luckily, I've played through this game hundreds of times, so... Uh, I know what to do, I just don't know necessarily what to say to everybody. But luckily, I think that if you just kind of don't agree, uh, they let you do it again, or they, like, do it until you say yes or something. I, I don't think it's that complicated. Okay. So we need to come up with a name. So, okay, do I really want to choose... Okay, Chikorita, I'm not gonna go with. I don't like Chikorita. Um, no. The Pokemon Herba, Skelta Importante, Un Choice. I actually don't know what the word for that is in Spanish. Uh, okay, there's Totodile. I'm, I'm most interested... Okay, so they're just named Totodile. Interesting. Okay, okay. Let's see here. 
Let's see what the na I just want to see what the names are. So. Syndical. Oh, they're just named the same. So. De tipo fuoco. Okay, so fuoco is fire. Um. No, I don't want that one. Okay. I'm actually going to save. Salva. <laughs> okay. Um. That's... Okay. Okay, so I think I know what caused that. <laughs> so I'm on the Retron 5, right? And I tried to delete my save... The old save file I had on here where I played for like two minutes. Um, manually in the Retron 5's... Like, save functions. And I think... When it was trying to pull for that, I think that's what happened. So... Maybe I should not have deleted my save file off the Retron 5. Because the Retron 5 is actually very interesting. Um, it's legal emulation... And the way that it does that is essentially um, it, it dumps the ROM file the same way that you would dump a ROM file illegally. But um, when it's when you take out the cartridge, it actually gets rid of the information. So it it only uses oh, okay. It's a it's a boy. So let's name it something. Uh, crocodile. Crocodile. No, I kind of want to just see what the the name is. Um, so let's, we'll give it a name later. Um, so yeah, it's actually legal emula emulation. Um, it plays a bunch of different things. Plays, uh, NES, Super Nintendo, uh, Genesis, or Master System, depending on what region of the world you're in. Um, plays, so Famicom, SNES, NES, Genesis, Master System, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color... Um, and then I also have up there a 3-in-1 adapter that plays a couple other things, um, like Master System card, a Master System, and um, Game Gear. So basically, I can kick out a 720p signal with pretty much anything I want. So, um, as far as those old retro games. It's not original hardware, but, I mean, you know what? Okay, so I think this guy gives me a potion, so I need to see what the word for potion is. Potione, Okay. So, got it. Cool. <laughs> okay, that's what I was worried about. Um, um, I recognized none of those words. <laughs> um, siamo solo in du qui. So, I think he's saying, like, remember this or something. Siamo così in, in pegan, pegnati. Something about così, like, thing in pegnati. I'm assuming that means put in. I'm assuming. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do the start menu here. Okay, so Pokemon. Pokemon. I actually want to see. Oh, he's holding an item. What item is he holding? Okay, Strum. What is that? Okay, I need to. <laughs> uh, I think so. I think he has Scratch and Leer, but I need to check Google here just to see. Sorry, I'm gonna put up my phone as a neat little thing. Okay, so. Grafiado, I'm assuming that's... Okay, so that has Scratch and Leer. Perfect. And then he's holding a berry. Okay, so... Strum, Strum... I have no idea what Strum is. Uh, okay, I just have to assume that means, like, held. Like, held item. Oh, that makes sense, because that was a word that was used for the backpack as well. I don't know what the word for that in Spanish is. And what is Mos... Mose? What is... What is that? Moves. Okay, so those are just moves. Okay. So let's see if we can figure out what... Um, okay, so... I don't remember if that's good. <laughs> um, okay. Did they introduce natures in this version? I don't think they did. Oh, so yeah, I'm okay. So there's no there's no natures. So we're good. Um, okay. So Toto Dial. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's let him keep the berry. So... And then Zyno. Okay, so that's the backpack. Poke gear. Oh, okay. We're not going to be going in there much. Uh, I want to just take a look at this here. I have not basically gone into this at all. I've had this copy of Pokemon Crystal for like... Oh, a couple of years, actually. Somebody I went to high school with sold it to me for like, what, $15, $20 or something? So why am I saving again? Oh, force of habit, I guess. So, um... 
Wow, it's been like 12 minutes and this is all as far as I've gotten. So this might be a little bit of a challenge, um, mainly because... Percorso? Okay, interesting. Okay, this guy's not going to teach... This guy teaches me how to catch Pokemon eventually. Um, okay. So at some point I also want to play... Um, like Pokemon Vietnamese Crystal, which is a whole bunch of laughs. Um, after you're done watching my thing, look up Pokemon Vietnamese Crystal. Okay, Zino, that's bag. Pokemon Lota, that's like attack. Interesting. Fuga is probably like leave or run away. Okay. Do I want to? Yeah, we should probably level up Totodile a little bit. Totodile is. Um... Okay, Asione. Okay, so that's. Like, tackle. Okay, interesting. That's probably just a generic word for, like, to action or something. Kurpukada. Kurpukuda. Koda. That's, like, tail tail whip. Okay. The good thing is, is we're, like, four, like, three levels ahead of this thing. So, receive that many points of experience. Okay. Okay, here we go. It is nighttime. I think we'll run into, like, Spinarax here? I'm pretty sure... Oh no, Spinarax are on the next route. I forget, because I had the... Again, I had Pokemon Gold back in the day, so... I'm used to, I think, Spinarax showing up. Um... In fact, um... I might as well mention it now that the first shiny Pokemon I ever saw was, a, I think, um, Gold exclusive one it was like the flying uh, scorpion thing, um, Gligar or something. Uh, that was that was the first ever shiny Pokemon I ever saw. Because um, I don't think gold, but I think you had Gligar was the one that came in gold, and Skymery was the one that came in silver, if I believe. So I don't know that I actually actually ever saw a Skymery. Let me see what this guy says here. Do, 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 do. Dimi, come stanno tu Pokemon? Something about your Pokemon. Se sono. Okay, so that's doing something to something. Lota. Okay, I know I've seen that word before. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I don't think there's anything over here worth, worth going into. Not until you get cut, anyway. Um, okay, gotta go through this grass here. Hopefully we don't. Come on! Okay. Do, 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 Trova. Okay, Trova's, like, picked up. I'm not sure that I know the word for that in Spanish, either. Like, gana? Gana is, like, gained. Or, like, won or earned. Um, like, poner is to... to put. But I don't know to pick up. Which is interesting. Okay, there's tackle. Nemico. Not nemeso. Does... I wonder if Italian... If they do the whole, um, like, C's can also sound like S's sort of thing, like English does. Although now that I think of it, I don't know if Spanish does that either. I'm pretty sure... Because Spanish is one of those wonderful languages where you always know how something is spelled so long as the person pronounces it correctly. Um, it's one of these wonderful languages where the, the writing system directly reflects the way that it's spoken. So every single sound in Spanish has its own, like, letter, essentially. So, yeah, things have accents for a reason, so... Like, if it, if it has, an, like, the letter O, for example, um, if it has no accent, then it's just O. But if it has an accent, then it's O, essentially. It's a, it's a little hard. I'm still kind of trying to learn the difference, like, in, in hearing it, but... Reading it, I have a much uh, easier time with Spanish. This is a berry tree. Una pianta. That's probably plant. De fruta. Okay, so it's a, a fruit... A fruit plant? Is that the word for tree, or is that the word for plant? Uh, I think the word in Spanish for tree is arbol, but then there's planta. So I don't know what Italian does that way. So it's with Pokemon, something... Buying... I don't know. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's see here. Is there a trainer down this way? No, I don't think you're a trainer. What do you do? Bendy que salti? Something about jumping. 
Oh, do you want to jump? Oh, okay. Then the going, like, going, do you want to jump? That's probably what that means. Because que, que uh, is similar to uh, querer, which in, is like to want in, in Spanish. So And sal, salta in Spanish is jump. So that's probably, she's talking about jumping off the ledges here. So, um, walking, caminare is like probably walking. Okay. All right, this is interesting, actually. Um, having more fun doing this than I thought I was going to. Forescolpoli? Okay, I'm not going to remember the name of that town. Okay, this guy's going to guide me around. So tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, call this episode here. This guy's going to guide me around in the next episode, and then we're going to continue from there. So this is Frackbox, and I'm with nobody else, I guess. Uh, normally I have somebody else who chimes in after that, but so this is Frackbox. Uh, have a great day.